Hail and well met, adventurers. This is Redbot from Red Guides, a multi-boxing community for EverQuest. We play EQ a bit differently than normal, and in this series I'm going to show you how we set things up step by step. If you're wondering how we play, then think back to an old RPG like Wizardry. Or maybe you played Final Fantasy on your Nintendo. Or maybe you played Baldur's Gate. Then you know that playing a full group of characters is about management, strategy, and taking down big monsters. And that's how most of our community plays EverQuest, as a full group. At this point, EQ has been developed for two decades, and it is a blast to play. It's everything you remember from 1999, without all the hell levels and corpse runs. Also, EQ is now huge. There are over 500 zones, and most of them were designed for a full group, which uh, we think is perfect. So head on over to everquest.com, make a few accounts, roll a few characters, and let's get started. Quick note, Varia Vanilla is our version of MacroQuest, and our community uses these names interchangeably. It's open source software. It can be used on all types of official servers, on normal, Verona V, test servers, TLP, any server except for those designated as TrueBox. It can also be used with MU servers, so like Project Lazarus, Project EQ, Easy Server, it works and is accepted on all those servers. The next thing everybody wants to know is, will my account be safe? And I can't guarantee it. You know, we've had mixed messages from official server GMs. I've had them look me in the eye and say that they appreciate the tools our community creates. Uh, but in February of 2021, we had quite a few members get a seven day suspension. So clearly some of the newer GMs don't enjoy everything we do. However, our advice remains the same. Stay at your keyboard, be friendly. And with those two things, you'll probably be all right. And you'll have fun. But you know, no guarantees on either count. All right, let's get started. The first step is to go to redguides.com, make an account, and then you'll want to install the launcher. You'll see this big button here on the front page. The launcher will be your main tool for keeping all of your software you get from Red Guides up to date, but it's also a good way to launch Very Vanilla Mac Request itself. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and install it. The default directories are fine. And after it's installed, click this big shiny login button. And after you do that, you should see your name pop up here at the top of the app. Now click the Very Vanilla tab. If you used an old version of MacroQuest 2, which we used in most of 2021, you'll want to migrate to our newer MacroQuest version. Um, and we have a video for how to do that. It's in our description. If you're new or starting fresh, go ahead and click the install button right here. And remember where this button is because after we update MacroQuest, you'll want to come back here and click update. And we do that every time there's a new patch. So head back here at whenever Quest patches. Installation, give it a good minute or two. Uh, the default directories are probably best, unless you know what you're doing. And you should be ready to go. But first, let me show you one more thing on the launcher that I think you'll enjoy. I'd like to point out the macros tab on the left here. It's pretty great. We'll cover macros in a later video, but I want you to know how to install them and keep them updated with the launcher. Go to redguides.com and click macros up at the top here. This will take you to the macros section of our resources and you can just browse all the macros we have. Uh, as soon as something catches your eye, like say hatchery Mac, go ahead and click it. And then once you're here, go over to the watch button and click watch. Go back to the app and after clicking refresh, you'll see it in the list. From here, you can install it or update it or whatever you'd like. The Lua tab works the same way, so you can go to the Lua category and get all the scripts you like and keep them updated. And the plugin tab is only for downloading paid plugins. Every other plugin is already included with Very Vanilla, so they're already on your computer. You don't have to download them. Now let's get in game. Click the Launch MQ button and you'll see the MQ icon pop up down here. In the next video, I'll show you how to auto login all of your accounts with one click from this icon. But for now, load up EverQuest as you normally would, and let's check things out. All right, once you're up, you'll know it's working as you'll see a new window on your screen right around here in the top left. Hooray! You'll also notice some extra information when you type slash who, when you look at items, and even on the in-game map. 
type slash MQ settings to bring up settings for core, plugins, and various scripts you have. And here's a neat one. When you have someone targeted, you can type slash face and you'll point right at them. I use that pretty much every day. The rest of this video series is almost all in game. And at the end of it, you'll be playing a full group like you would a single character. So you should join us. The link's in the description.